And fans, we go to the arena right now where Mike Tanay is joined by the American Dream Dusty Rhodes for the call of the action. Thanks, Tony. Thanks, Larry. Mike Tanay and the American Dream Dusty Rhodes with you here in the WCW Worldwide Arena. And whoa, we see Prince Iakea on the attack even before the opening bell as he just attacked his opponent. Evan Courageous. I tell you what, we we just still just can't hardly talk. We dumb found it over while one down at Road Wild. Man, oh, I tell you, what just a, get loose. I want to oh. see the replay, and I know you got to call right somebody. Absolutely, to get what it. a memorable event oh. WCW's Road Wild '99 was this year. And you know, there's just something about being out in Sturgis, South Dakota. There's something about being out in the Badlands that brings out the best in the stars of World Championship Wrestling, and that was absolutely the case again this year at Road wild you don't want to miss the encore presentation call your local cable company now to see road wild well for the first time or i mean even if you saw it the yeah. first time even if you saw it live you want to see it again you absolutely want to see it again it's like one of those great movies yeah that you go back and you see <laughs> so many wow. different things the second time and that's what road wild 99 was all about and i tell you what if we turn our attention here on world wide to a uh, 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 you know, moving into a new direction right here. We took a look at two young Whoa. athletes, courageous. The Prince, Prince been on top, won a title early in his career, never been able to step back up to the plate to get where he was. And uh, this might be an opportunity right here to get back on uh, back on track. Evenly matched, both these guys can get it done here on Worldwide. You know, I've heard two trains of thoughts when it comes to Prince Iakea and his early success in WCW. And one was that he was never able to attain that status again because he, he gained that success so early. Goes for the cover and gets a two count. He defeated Steven Regal in another cover and just a one count that time to win the world's TV title maybe too early in his career. And the other train of thought that I've heard is that there were people in the front office of World Championship Wrestling and the Prince again the cover and again too on Evan Courageous that were possibly holding back Prince Iakea and of course we're speaking of the former president of World Championship Wrestling, well, one Ric Flair. Yeah, you can say that. You know I've went on record as saying that not only Prince but there were I'm not saying that Prince deserves a shot at the United States heavyweight title or, or, or anything like that. But what I mean, there was an opportunity there after coming off that to get the return matches, to get uh, in a situation where you could get yourself back into uh, the limelight with somebody look say, well, hey, let's give him a shot at this title. Well, whatever went down there, I really believe that there are quite a few guys. In the, and when we talk about uh, the Demon League of the Chris Wilds, and we always mention them guys because they are kind of the standard bearers for the for this this movement and and these guys need to have a leader and they need to move up and now there's a change as we know in wcw and uh, maybe it happened for i hope so but this matchup right here the important both got and you see a uh, prince ikea that's a little more uh what do you say aggravated or a little more aggressive than he was when he won the title the first time from uh, stephen regal certainly a much more aggressive style from the prince than we've seen of the early years in his career and oh look at that just venting his frustration as he fires courageous off into the ropes knee to the midsection and then follows up with a series of right hands to the head oh drops down with all of his weight directly across the chest the midsection the sternum of outrageous evan courageous and this young man he's also looking for a shot yes a victory for either of these two competitors here on wcw worldwide is going to springboard them up to the next level moves them up the rankings of success in world championship wrestling it's a very important matchup for both snap mayor out of the corner by the prince he just grabs onto the hair the, that the, the yeah. corn rose the who the corn rose the who corn rose that's what that's what that hairstyle no, is called corn rose. it's corn rose rose what street you been hanging out on man <laughs> you, where, where you been Quick cover what are you courageous. talking about? My goodness, that ain't even right. I know you start a new book. That's a Tanaeism. A Tanaeism. You know you got the roadism and I, the con road. I've already got my roadisms dictionary yeah. over oh, here that I refer man. to on a regular basis. I'm gonna tell you what. But worldwide gives opportunity for athletes to come on and get it done. Prince. Oh, oh. Might have lost it right here. Great reversal by courageous. Caught the Prince in midair. Drove him to the canvas with the slam. Can he follow up with another move? 
again to the springboard. Cross body block. Over Rolled top. through by the Prince. And look at this. The Prince is grabbing onto the tights and he gets the three count. Well, yeah, that's a shortcut that he don't need to be doing, you know. Come on, Prince. And now he's got Courageous and just tosses him out to the arena floor. Well, yeah, yeah kind of a post-match toss there, wasn't it? A post-match attack, it certainly was. We're going to take another look on our MCI 1010-321 replay. Dial it and save 50% on calls over 10 minutes. Rolls him right on through, hooks it tight, don't need it, but does it. Gets him a victory right here on Worldwide with Tanay in the Dream. And that victory for Prince Iakea will certainly move him up the rankings in the eyes of the WCW Executive Committee. The Prince scores the win on Worldwide, and now let's send it back to the locker room because it's interview time.